cyberpunk sequel, huh? Mm. After Phantom Phantom Liberty. Hmm. All right. Well, Steam Deck 2 should, should, should be able to handle that one when that comes out. <laughs> anyway, what's up, people? Another beautiful day or night. Yep. Hope your five cents, five cents is work, health, and strength is good or excellent. What? <laughs> All right. So, Cyberpunk 2077 dominates Steam top seller list last week. All right. Says here, uh, l l the launch of Cyberpunk 2077 was a tragedy for CD pro CDPR and his fans. CDPR last game was built up for many years, but eventually launched left a lot to be desired. However, the studio has finally managed to course correct following the years of update. It managed to gather a slew of positive reviews on Steam, but this was not enough to satisfy the studio. The company wanted further redemption to finally win back the trust of loss win back the trust loss over the years. See? Crystal Dynamics need to learn from CD Project Red. I'm just saying. Even EA with Anthem can learn from CD Projekt Red. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, says here, uh, CD, CDPR desire for redemption and continued efforts culminates in the 2.0 update in Phantom Liberty. Following these releases, uh, Cyberpunk 2077 remains at the top of Steam bestseller list last week. Why it matters? Cyberpunk 2077, the oldest game on the list, but its revamp has allowed it to compete with the newest titles of the year. Mm. All right, let's see what the list looking like here. Okay, Steam top seller list. All right, let's see here. Hmm. Cyberpunk 2077, number one. Cyberpunk 2077, Phantom Liberty, number two. EA Sports F uh, FC 24, Baldur's Gate 3, number four. Call of Duty, number five. Party Animal, number six. Steam Deck, number seven. Hmm. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Black Sails, uh, season six. Number eight. Starfield, number nine. And Fate Samurai Our Remnant, number ten. Hmm. All right. Says here, uh, uh, the Steam Weekly Global Top Seller for the week of September, week of 26 September. 3rd, October 20th, top selling games on Steam. Anyway, it says, as reported by SteamDB, Cyberpunk and its expansion dominates the first two spots on Steam. Weekly bestseller list. Hmm. While games like Baldur's Gate 3 and EA Sports uh, remains relevant on the list, the excitement surrounding Cyberpunk 2077 kept it ahead of the competition since the game has become... has... since the game has come a long way after its 2.0 update in Phantom Liberty. See? Games can be fixed. What is wrong with you people? Anyway, says Aldo, Cyberpunk 2077 was initially criticized and ridiculed at launch. It is considered a benchmark for open world games today. New, me new mechanics have fleshed out the core gameplay while Phantom Liberty has expanded upon the lore. And then it says here, such improvements have resulted in a completely new set of players joining the RPG. The game has also amassed over 500,000 positive Steam reviews, positive reviews on Steam. Mm -hmm. Following its newfound success, Cyberpunk 2077 has been compared to new release like Starfield, with many claiming that the latter feel dated in comparison. Mm. Now, now that the hey, 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 and here's where it gets interesting. Now, Cyberpunk sequel. Here's where it gets interesting. It says here, now that the game has made such a strong comeback, it will not receive any major updates in the future, as CD Projekt Red is finally ready to move on from Cyberpunk 2077. Phantom Liberty was the only expansion of the game, but its reception, along with the 2.0 update has solidified the game as an RPG worth revisiting for older players and one worth picking up for new players. Okay, here it comes. CD Projekt Red's Red has also began begin begun began begin planning the game sequel. 
which will be developed on Unreal Engine 5 as the studio is completely moving away from its current engine after Phantom Liberty. And that is that. So there is a Cyberpunk sequel coming being developed on Unreal Engine 5. Yeah. So if Cyberpunk can can be revived and it's at the top of the chart, then what does that say about the likes of uh Redfall? <laughs> uh who else? Uh the Avengers. Yep. Who else? Uh Anthem, I still play it. Yep. <laughs> to this day. Games can be fixed. It depend it depends on how committed you are to the project. It depends on how committed you are to correct correcting mistakes when they come up. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> so yeah. It's all about correcting your mistakes, you know. C D Project Red did it. See now all the cyberpunk haters now can come back. Yeah. And then you add then you add the um those new uh you you add FSR three to the mix with uh DLSS, yeah. That should make things interesting for Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, Phantom Liberty. Yeah, the 2.0 update. Oh, yeah. But there's a sequel coming. Yeah, so uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Maybe on the sequel, we could play that on the... Uh, maybe you can play that on the Steam Deck, too. Just saying. Along with your Half-Life 3 and your Portal 3 or your Left 4 Dead or your... Just saying. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy, though. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars, Star Trek, Thank Dark Side. Come. Peace.